Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Nalini. I am a child psychology educator and early learning educator. So I get a lot of DMs asking many doubts on right brain education. Even though there are many videos in YouTube and Instagram, I still get a lot of uh, personalized questions from people who follow and people who are beginning with right brain education. Okay, the next question. Flashcard starting struggle. Eight months baby, paka matengra. Tips eda avadhi detail la solunga. Okay. So the, what they are asking is, eight months baby is not sitting for flashcard session. How we can do it? So uh, during this age, like seven months, eight months, nine months, when the baby wants to be more mobile, they are exploring uh, their environment at a very, um, sh uh, th than any other time since they were born. They are uh, more attracted to the environment. They want to be free. They want to be independent. They want to crawl all the time. They want to be on the move. So uh, when we start at this particular age from seven months at, uh, from, from seven to eight months to 10 months or 11 months when you are starting it uh, that, at that point of time you will definitely face this issue because they want to be mobile all the time so how you can um, make give them more interest is that keep the session very very short just two cards or even uh, just start with five cards or sometimes even three cards two cards or you just one card flash it and then close it off so this will build the curiosity to the babies so this is for any, all the ages whenever you want to start and if you if you see that the baby is not interested you can do this you can do just do the flashcard session in a very very short span of time and kindle their curiosity so babies are curious babies want to learn when they find something very curious so just maintain the curiosity and the next thing is you can uh, make them sit in a high chair so that they will not try to snatch your cards when you are showing so just place them in high chair and don't show just like that don't show the flashcards way immediately just uh, have a starting uh, time like uh, bonding time just um, get a routine get into a routine just follow a particular period of time uh, for flashcard sessions just mention them we are going to see flashcards now okay ask them permission don't uh, tell them we are going to see flashcards now come on show don't do that ask them are you interested shall we see flashcards now like that you can ask them so that they will feel that they are given importance and they will definitely love to do the activity whatever it is and uh, if they have any particular uh, thing they are attracted to for example my baby loves reading when i show her book she will immediately come where whatever she is doing she, when i show her books shall we read books if i ask her she'll definitely come so what i do is i sh uh, read book with her first one book i will read with her and then i will move on to flashcards i will ask her what can we see flashcards now and then uh, she will be watching it don't overdo on the day one itself keep it fun keep it entertaining keep it short and build the curiosity of the baby so that they will love to watch flashcards so once they have the flow in just one or two months when you are consistent uh, when you are following routine they will be they love to watch flashcards and they will never want to stop someone is asking me what is right brain education okay so for what is right brain education is a big topic please do check out all the videos in my youtube channel where i have explained what is not right brain education what is right brain education all the stuff there is it okay to start flashcards at 26 months definitely yes why not per one session how many set of topics and how many cards from each topic this totally depends on the child so when you start just have one category with uh, five cards in that particular category and show them and then you can keep adding uh, more cards and more categories as per your child don't rush or don't have any template kind of thing that works for another child it won't work whatever is working for your child you have to follow it so follow your child and then if when the baby shows more interest you can add keep on adding uh, other cards how many days should we show same flashcards and how do we know it's time to change the flashcard the ideal recommendation is five days five cards from the sixth day you will start retiring one card and adding up new card so this is how Doman suggests but yeah you can follow your child's cues 
okay next one uh, my daughter is 25 months old i want to start her right brain education can you please assist me how to start okay so for all the how to start questions uh, again i'm asking you to go to my youtube channel and check out all the videos which i have posted earlier i have mentioned each of the activities very clearly you can check that out and in instagram also you can check the hashtag rb by nalini zeno where i have discussed about so many uh, things there so you can check that out that as well so if you have any specific questions please do ask me i will i will be happy to help you what is the appropriate time for the child to start the rhyme brain activities appropriate time because um, okay uh, appropriate time to start is for all the activities is from three months six months nine months 20 months 36 months any time that you want to start okay but it can be started from infants from from newborns also for example uh, right brain acti activities like alpha music eye exercises can be started from one month two month also what are the activities you can do for right brain activity at home you can teach us so all these methods whichever i'm discussing is can be done at home um, can be done better at home i would say is right brain is all about flashcards or another activities also right brain education is not just flashcards flashcards is actually the whole brain activity it helps both in right brain and left brain stimulation uh, all the other activities like mandala those are the right brain dominant activities eye exercises those are all like both right brain and left brain activities please do check all the activities in my youtube channel my little one is 19 months old most of the time he don't concentrate on what we show they are hearing just make sure that they are hearing keep the sessions very very short how to start with right brain education my again the same question i think i have answered it a lot of times in the uh, in the video earlier okay uh, i'm just keeping the repeated questions okay show dot cards similar to flashcards you will be flashing the dot cards and teach your baby math with arithmetic calculations addition subtraction multiplication division comparison sequence and so many other things as well so yeah it is a step-by-step -step process uh, you can read how to teach your baby math by glenn dorman that is a very good uh, math related book to start with do you have any uh, program for right brain education i do not have a program but i do have a rb startup pack which you can buy if you are beginning with right brain education which comprises of so many flashcards and uh, all the activities like uh, eye exercise patterns alpha music links and then mandala activity patterns linking memory patterns all those things are available in my uh, right brain education startup pack this can be used by anyone who was starting with uh, right brain education easily you can use these materials for at least six months of time i can guarantee that and uh, depends okay so and also i take i do take sessions uh, if you are interested do contact me in instagram to know about the schedules and all that okay need more videos on right brain education i will definitely try to put more videos on right brain education for sure in case if you have any specific topic that you want me to cover please do comment in my videos so that i will note it down and i will make it uh, can we use any other object cards instead of red dot cards ideally doman recommends red dot cards because they are not distracted uh, the babies will not get distracted with dot cards and they'll be uh, able to uh, do the quantification quantification uh, very easily so that is the reason so suppose if you feel that your baby is not paying attention to the math dot cards maybe you can just uh, print five or ten cards with some other favorite um, uh, picture for example you have mentioned unicorn as example so just do it for 10 cards or something just to gain the interest back and eventually move on to the dot cards that is the ideal recommendation in a day how many times flashcards show to baby uh, so it depends on the number of programs that you are doing ideally for each program you will be doing it uh, the ideal recommendation from domain is like three sessions a day uh, many parents many senior parents who have done uh, for two sessions a day also have seen similar results uh, so for each program you will have to do either two or three times a day okay are the materials you are sharing are your own creation based on your understanding of rb 
so right brain education materials that i have made is yeah as you said it is from the understanding of right brain education i have made the own uh, my own materials because i am selling it the rb starter pack which i have created i am sharing it with fellow moms for a nominal cost so i don't want to copy any others work so i have made all of them um, by myself but you can also refer to any other websites who provide you uh, free materials if you find a good source also the flashcards that you use should not have any other watermark or any other distracting things in the cards itself so most of the free materials that we get online will definitely have a watermark to it so i don't uh, i don't want to do it again and again so that is why i started creating my own materials and also whatever categories that i wanted to show my baby was not available online and i cannot show my baby whatever is online um, I, she might not be interested in that those things right so i started making my own materials and when working moms other uh, other moms who were not able to do flashcards on their own they were requesting me to provide so that is the reason i came up with the um, right brain starter pack um, so i print it on my own um, using my printer so whatever um, you know flashcards that is available in the market just make sure that they are following the right method with our uh, will the rb starter pack will be useful for 33 month old and please provide list of contents in pack so for the list of contents in the pack kindly please uh, me uh, send me a message in instagram so i will give you the list of uh, materials available in our rib uh, education starter pack so for the other question will it be useful for 33 month old so i have curated the rb starter pack in such a way that you know uh, all the anyone who anyone who starts with right brain education can use that pack that is how it has been started uh, it has been shared and um, because it has a variety of categories of flashcards so you can definitely start with um, and also it has been curated in such a way that uh, even a 33 month old um, one who wants to start right brain education they will not have the very basic kind of flashcards there they will also be um, uh, benefited from the starter pack that i've created apart from flashcards i've already also included linking memory cards and uh, space memory um, and then uh, mandala printables and all those stuff also there so it will definitely be useful I think I have uh, covered most of the questions here. The remaining questions are all like repeated, like when to start, how to start, all this stuff. So uh, please, I would strongly recommend you guys to go and check out my YouTube channel videos. Why I am always saying this is because I've already made a detailed videos on each of those topics. I think you can go and watch them so to get more idea about it. Um, okay, um, yeah. So if you have any other doubts or if you have any other specific questions to be asked, please do drop a comment below so that I will reply back and uh, yeah you can join my facebook support group to connect with uh, other parents who do right brain education with a child uh, it is called right brain education india in facebook go and join and uh, you can follow me in instagram as well and uh, every saturday i'll open this question box where you can ask all your questions away so that i will answer all of them consolidated way in a youtube video i hope you find this video helpful guys thank you so much i i hope i did not miss anyone's question here except for the repeated ones in case if you feel that um, i have missed something just drop a comment below do follow me in instagram please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much for watching bye bye